Well, by now, I'm guessing many of you have seen A Right To Do, and you've all thoroughly enjoyed it. For that, I'm forever thankful. Many of you have asked me how I shot the film, how I made it. But the most commonly asked question of all is, how did I do the roof jump? Well, I promised you all I'd make a video on how I did it, but before we get there, I will first tell you how I didn't. Ian Brown had a very interesting theory that I jumped off the dining room table, and then, using the power of editing, I green screened myself onto the roof. To quote Roy Walker, it's good, but it's not right. This here is my dining room table, mostly made of plastic. If I was to stand on it, chances are I'd go smack bang through the middle of it. Absurd as it looks and sounds, I did jump 10 feet off the roof. But what did I land on? <laughs> I certainly didn't land on the ball. A lot of people seem to think I landed on the trampoline. If I was a few stone lighter, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. Problem is though, this is the trampoline. It's old, it's rusty, and it's got holes in it. If I'd have jumped from the roof onto the trampoline, rather than gone thud, I would have gone splat. I've kept you waiting long enough. So, how did I do it? The answer's down here. Yep, ever the crazy guy that I am, I've got this great big looking crash mat in my back garden. And with a depth of three feet, I can jump off the roof and not suffer any major injuries. Still don't believe me? Here's a few test shots, just to show that I was nuts enough to jump off the roof. So, if you ever need a stuntman for your next film, give me a bell. Right in the middle. I'm glad. Whew. What's wrong? What's up with the chickens? Do they not like that? No. What is it? Yeah, 